If you've been wondering how to start a website on Bluehost and whether it's actually worth it, the short answer is yes. Bluehost has made it easier than ever for beginners to get online, and after testing it myself, I can tell you exactly why it's still one of the smartest choices going into 2026. But more importantly, I'll show you how to make the process even easier by following the full step-by-step -step video I've linked at the end of this one. The biggest reason Bluehost stands out is how simple it makes building your first site. You don't need to worry about coding, complicated settings, or connecting things manually. Once you sign up, Bluehost automatically walks you through the setup process. You pick a name for your site, choose a free domain, which comes included for the first year. And within minutes, Bluehost installs WordPress for you. From there, you can pick a theme, start editing, and your website is live before you know it. It's genuinely beginner-friendly, which is why it's one of the few hosts officially recommended by WordPress itself. Performance-wise, Bluehost still delivers solid speed and reliability for most websites. Whether you're starting a blog, a personal portfolio, or a small business site, it gives you everything you need to grow without spending a fortune. Every plan includes free SSL security, one-click WordPress installation, automatic updates, and customer support that's available 24-7. During my own testing, the site speed was quick and stable, even using the basic plan. And for new creators, that's more than enough to start strong. Price is another big reason Bluehost continues to be such a popular choice. With their current discount, plans start around $2 to $3 per month, which is incredibly affordable for what you get. Most people don't realize how much value is packed into that. Hosting, a free domain, professional email, and security all bundled together. Over time, that adds up to real savings compared to trying to piece everything together from separate providers. Now, of course, no host is perfect. Renewal prices go up after your first term, so the smartest move is to lock in the lowest rate for the longest term you can. And if you're planning to build a massive site with thousands of daily visitors, you'll eventually want to upgrade to something more powerful like a VPS or a cloud hosting plan. But for most people, especially beginners, Bluehost hits the perfect balance between simplicity price, and performance. So, is Bluehost worth it? Absolutely, it's time shim. But here's the thing. Setting it up the right way makes all the difference. If you want your site to look professional and run fast from the start, there's a right way to do it. I've already put together a full step-by-step -step Bluehost tutorial for 2026, where I walk you through everything, from choosing the right plan to launching your site live. You'll see exactly what to click, how to connect your domain, and the easiest way to customize your website without any confusion. If you want to follow along and build your own site today, that full Bluehost setup video is linked right at the end of this one. Check it out. It'll save you time, money, and a lot of frustration getting started. And if you found this quick overview helpful, giving this video a quick thumbs up really supports the channel, and you're welcome to subscribe for more simple, no-fluff website guides like this.